we see flaming aircrafts, we see the, uh, the enemy shooting at us, uh, we're, we're seeking cover, we're hearing uh, small arms fire, AK, AK-47s, uh, PKMs, uh, and then at some point soon thereafter see another RPG shot um, towards us and towards our building. For the first time on television, U.S. Marines tell CNN just how bad it got on the night of September 14th here at Camp Bastion in southern Afghanistan when the Taliban got inside the base. Major Greer Chambliss and his squadron commander, Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Rabel, raced to the scene as the first rounds hit. He performed heroically that night. He was the first engaging the enemy. He came out of the door, he saw the enemy, he engaged the enemy. These Taliban videos, which NATO believes show the insurgents getting ready weeks before the attack, may be a clue to how 15 heavily armed Taliban fighters dressed in U.S.-style military uniforms infiltrated through the fence on the eastern edge of the airfield. When it all happened, the Taliban broke into three groups. One group headed right for the flight line. Six Harrier jets were destroyed, more than $200 million in damage. Some Marines say it is the largest loss of aircraft since the Vietnam War. We're hearing uh, ammunition begin to cook off as well as, their, as well as their rounds that they're firing at us. We're hearing the sounds of, of fire as the gases uh, released from the aircraft. So uh, it, it was, uh, like I said, a surreal scene to behold. Staff Sergeant Gustavo Delgado led another team into the firefight. Well, it, it's definitely like, like the, the movies, you know, how, how you see. Um, I mean, the fire was, was huge, so you can feel the heat um, hitting your face. Uh, you can smell it. Um, you can hear all the snapping and cracking and all around the walls, all around you. For Sergeant Bradley Atwell and Christopher Rabel, it would be their final mission. Both men died of their wounds. Lieutenant Colonel Rabel remembered by his Marines. He saw a challenge and he, he took action. He took decisive action. Uh, he he led, his, led his Marines and he led them from the front. Lieutenant Colonel Rabel went up against the Taliban with the only weapon he had, his 9 millimeter pistol. A full investigation remains underway as to how the Taliban got onto Camp Bastion in the first place. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.